Hi folks, I'm Roger from Offgrid Van Life and uh, in this episode I'm going to take you through uh, one of the biggest dangers of buying cheap, very cheap, cheaply priced uh, lithium-ion phosphate cells from China. Uh, so what is it that you're actually worried about when you get these um, very uh, too good to be true priced cells? Right, let's get these cells. So these are the cells that uh, have been sitting here for quite some time. They've just been sitting there on the shelf for several months now, pretty much doing nothing but sitting there. And let's take all four of them down. <clears throat> so these were um, 320 amp hours. Yeah, right, 320. They didn't actually meet that capacity. They were close-ish, but they didn't meet that capacity. So, too good to be true. But anyway, uh, you should be able to already see the gaps that are forming. So bear in mind, they've just been sitting there for several months doing nothing. And I don't know if you can see this incredible gap here. So, uh, if I find my tape measure, and I'm just going to try and give a rough idea of how what this gap is. This one here is about a five millimeter. This one's a bit less. It's about uh, two and a half, three millimeters. And this is about a four millimeter gap. So those gaps are far too much. Even if we swing them around, still quite a gap. Swing this around, still quite a big gap. You see huge gaps. So these, these cells just sitting there for several months have swollen quite considerably. Um, <clears throat> If I compare them, so let me just put them to a side here. If I compare them with these cells of ours, so for example, this cell is a single cell from the original set that we bought from our main supplier. Uh, it's got the terminals that are slightly closer. This is a cell from the second lot. Look at that. They, there's no gap between them. They come again to, against each other with no gap whatsoever. Really good quality. These ones here have uh, swollen. So <clears throat> what's the, what's the long-term prognosis of these? Well, we can uh, clamp them into an enclosure with thread bars that um, will uh, squeeze them in. But uh, who knows what the uh, long-term effect is of this, this gap. So, the fact that these are swelling like this is uh, really not a good thing. Uh, the, the fact is that they are going to malfunction at some stage and we're going to run an experiment. So we're going to actually assemble these into a, an enclosure. We're going to use uh, M6, a six millimeter thread bar uh, around here, bring them in. I think before the, we do that, we're going to uh, discharge them completely and in the hopes that the process of discharging them will cause the swelling to go down and then um, we can uh, uh, get them closer together and then run them for several months in a safe location. We've got a plan of how we're going to do it and where we're going to do it. So we're going to build an external uh, housing for these and, and get an inverter onto them <clears throat> and just see how they cope uh, over several months and see what actually happens. Uh, we'll run them for uh, probably six months and after that we're going to uh, then take it all apart and just see how they are behaving. I'm expecting that within these cells there's going to be a lot of delamination and that sort of thing going on just because they are obviously uh, not stable. I um, wanted to just get an idea of the voltages on these things at the moment. So let's see. 3.51 They've uh, kept their charge quite nicely. 3.53, and 3.50. So they range from 3.54 to 3.50. As I said, they've just been <clears throat> sitting for several months doing nothing. They were uh, fully charged to 3.65, and uh, they've dropped down a little bit. Um, not as much as I thought they might. 
thought they'd drop a bit more but anyway so there we are this is why we stick with these kind of cells that are so closely matched and if i get another one stick it against here you'll see it's very close so <clears throat> stick with us in the future and we'll show you in a future episode just what these cells are doing but uh, this is one of the reasons why you need to be careful when you're buying from an unknown supplier offering a, a deal that's good to uh, too good to be true off aliexpress or uh, alibaba uh, this is the kind of stuff that you get uh, in the deal uh, something that could be dangerous so uh, welcome your comments um, if we if we were to put this into an rv or, or a boat or a, a van or something uh, what would the danger be do you, do you think these would eventually uh, go into meltdown and actually burn the van down or the boat down or do you think they're actually safe to use as they are and how many people would actually buy cheap cells from china store them somewhere for several months to see what they do to see if they swell and how they behave um, this was quite a shock to me when we did the uh, capacity test one of them was more swollen than the others but nothing like they are now and through time they've just become more and more swollen a little bit worrying so would you actually use these in your van let's see appreciate your comments cheers <laughs>